what is going on everybody back at it again with another youtube video and we're going to be talking more sixers basketball but before i get into all that i just want to say thank you again like i said in yesterday's video for all the support over the last month you know we're at 575 subscribers right now you know we're close to 600 i got big things coming up this week doing a stream tomorrow with RB and a couple other guests. You know, Friday I'm on with RB. Saturday I got something big planned. And Sunday me and RB are again streaming on my channel. But we are grinding out these videos. I've been coming on here every day for at least the last two, three weeks and just putting out content that I'm hoping you guys are enjoying. And, you know, it looks like you are because the views have gone up, the time watched has go up, you know, the subscribers have gone up dramatically, and I just want to say thank you again. But, you know, you got to keep it up. Hit that like button on this video and make sure to subscribe. I talk Phillies, Flyers, Eagles, and Sixers every single day. That is what I do. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Now, to get into today's topic... The topic of this video is, who do I want to see in the playoffs out of these three teams? In the first round, Miami Heat, Indiana Pacers, Boston Celtics. Now, this is not a stat video. This is nothing. This is just going to throw out the records of the two teams' season, and, you know, we're going to go from there. So to start it off, the team that we played the worst against this season is the Miami Heat. We were 1-3. We lost both games in Miami. We got blown out the one. We blew them out the very first game we played them. But it was Jimmy Butler's first game back in Philadelphia since leaving the team. So what did that have a factor? I don't know. But we blew them out the first game. The second game, they beat us at home. There's only been two teams to beat us at home this season. And that is the Dallas Mavericks and the Miami Heat. You know, they're a scary good team. They got shooters, Duncan Robinson, Tyler Hero. You know, Drogic is good. Bam's an all-star. Jimmy's an all-star. Drogic was a former all-star. Derek Jones Jr. is coming up. They have very good players. Kendrick Nunn is a is a player I never even heard of before. You know, this season, he's been lighting it up. The Miami Heat are also run by a very good coach in Eric Spolstra. They win games. They are currently the fourth seed in the Eastern Conference. I do think that does change throughout this playoff because they do have a pretty hard schedule. But, you know, the Sixers seem to struggle against teams that can shoot the ball very well, and that's all they do. Duncan Robinson and Tyler Hero in that game in Miami, the first game of two in Miami. It went down to the wire. You know, they called a bad foul on a bad call on Al Horford. I'm not going to say it was a foul because it wasn't. You know, Jimmy Butler went to the line, knocked down two. Tobias Harris missed a wide open three in the corner to, to win the game. He missed it. But, you know, to get them into overtime, you know, ben, before the Ben Simmons layup where it went off the rim barely there to review it and went in, Tyler Hero hit a, game, hit a, a clutch shot. And they lost Josh Richardson, who was a very big piece of of their team last year. They lost, obviously, Dwayne Wade. The Heat just seem to always be there. They're always going to be in the playoff mix. They have that superstar, that dog in Jimmy Butler. I don't want to see this team in the first round. To be perfectly honest, this is the team I would rather least play in the first round of the playoffs just because they've had our number. They beat us at home, which only two teams have done this season. They have shooters... They have a great coach, a championship-winning coach. They're just a very good team. I'd rather not play the Miami Heat in the first round. If it if it happens, I do think we could beat them. I think we could beat all three of these teams in the Celtics, Pacers, and Heat. I do think we could beat all these teams, but then you have to look for the next round. And if we have to play the Raptors in the second round or the Bucks, you know, it's obviously going to be challenging. So who do I want to play in the first round to make it a little easier to make it to where I think we can win in a better sense of of fashion I guess you could say without the home crowd is going to be very tough to beat any of these three teams but these three teams are very good at home also so you're taking that factor away 
Boston didn't beat us at home, and neither did Indiana. So that's why I have the Miami Heat as probably the least, like, probably the team I would rather play least out of these three. Now, to get into the second team, the Indiana Pacers. Yes, that is right. I do want to play the Celtics in the first round, and I will get to that in a couple minutes. But the Indiana Pacers, they just got Victor Oladipo, who is an all-star. They just got him back. Malcolm Brogdon, you know, he's he's recovering from COVID, but he will be back. Damanis Sabonis, first-time all-star. Nick McMillan, great head coach. He brought this team without their all-star in Victor Oladipo. He gave the keys to Malcolm Brogdon and Damanis Sabonis. Sabonis was a first-time all-star. His dad is a Hall of Famer. It runs in the genes. You know, Damanis Sabonis is a very good player. He's a very good big. Miles Turner, you know, he's nowhere near on the level as Embiid. And I don't think Bam's on the same level as Embiid either. I also don't think Daniel Tice is nearly as close to these two. And that's another reason why I'd rather play these two teams, you know, later on than the Celtics. I'd rather just get the Celtics out of the way. Play them. You know, we we hold a 3-1 series lead against them this season. We've had their number. They can't stop they, they they can't stop us unless we're injured. And that's what happened the last game. We were injured, they beat us. But back to the Pacers. Again, they have very they they're just a very well run team. Nate McMillan is a very good coach. Very good. And you know, he doesn't get talked enough about, but Victor Aladipo didn't play until the last month of the year. He brought up Brogdon and Sabonis and a bunch of other guys. You know, they signed Jeremy Lamb. Miles Turner is okay. But, again, it's the way you run a team. And I think this team, who is 2-1 against the Sixers this season, the only team of the three with a winning record against us, or the only team, no, there's two of the three teams that have a winning record against us. The Celtics are the only one that does not. And again, all the things I'm about to say for the Celtics, you got to take it into account. We're we're I think we're better than all three of these teams, but the main factor for me is Joel Embiid. Who's stopping Joel Embiid on that team? Grant Williams? No. You know, Semi Ojale is he even on the team anymore? Daniel Tice certainly isn't. He hasn't done it yet. Is Cantor? No, he hasn't done it yet. So you, what are you going to put Tatum on him? Tatum would get eaten alive by Embiid. Same thing with Jalen Brown. They don't have a certified... They don't have a big. The Sixers do. The Pacers do. The Heat do. Joel Embiid is the centerpiece. He is the best player on the floor at all times. Especially in these three series. He's the best player on the court against the Pacers, Heat, and Celtics. You can't tell me that he isn't. Jason Tatum's not there yet. You know, Victor Aladipo isn't better than him. I guess you could say, or Kemba Walker's not better than him either. I guess you have an argument to say, oh, well, Jimmy Butler. But no, Jimmy Butler is not better than Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid is the best player on the floor at all, mostly every game. He's the best center in the league. In my opinion. But I just would rather play the Celtics. We have the season series. Brad Stevens is a great coach. But we've beaten him this year. Three times to one. And it took him an injury to beat us. You know, we beat them at the Garden. We beat them twice at home. Joel Embiid has absolutely balled out against this team. He has. You know, the Celtics-Sixers rivalry throughout their history has been one of the best in the NBA of all time. You know, it's up there with the Sixers, or the Celtics-Lakers, the Bulls-Pistons. You know, Sixers-Celtics, that's an all-time rivalry. Larry Bird, Dr. J, Paul Pierce, Allen Iverson, Joel Embiid, or Ben Simmons, Jason Tatum. It's a rivalry, guys. 
Will Chamberlain, Bill Russell. I'd rather play the rival first, as weird as that sounds. Because I think we have the upper hand against them. I think we are better I I think we're better than all three. That's not there's no question about that. There's only two teams in the in the Eastern Conference that I think are better than us, and that is the Raptors and the Bucks. That's it. Everybody else is not better than us, skill wise. Coaching maybe that's one thing. But skill wise, no. We are the best team. We are the second third best team in the East. So that's that. I mean you guys can let me know who you would rather play. I mean, you could go with the Pacers because they're a little undersized. You know, Victor Aladipo isn't even sure if he's going to play yet. The Monis a bonus. But I'd rather play the Celtics. They have the star power. We have the star power. Battle it out. I think it would be the easiest just because of Joel Embiid, honestly. I really do. I think Joel Embiid is the is the factor in that series, and I think he takes over. I think he could really average like 30 points against Jan- Daniel Tyson in that series. I really do. He's that much better than him. It's not even close. But with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you tomorrow with another YouTube video. Thank you all for watching, and I'm out. Peace.